Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here with KB Trainings. In this new video, I'm going to show you how to install a DHCP server on your Windows Server 2016. So we just installed this computer, I mean this uh, Windows Server 2016, and we also installed DNS on it. So now I'm just showing you how to install DHCP. Um, I don't really need to have a DHCP server right now in my lab because my FortiGate router is acting as a server for the lab. But just for labbing purposes, I'm going to shut down the DNS, uh, the DHCP server um, in the FortiGate and I will be using this one here from now on in our lab environment. Because you know that I destroyed my lab just to show you how to install everything from scratch here on KB Trainings where I share with you my passion in things like this. So if you like this, don't forget to subscribe and visit kbtrainings.com for more content. If you're studying for a CCNA, I also have a class about it on kbtrainings.com. All right, so for those of you that don't know what the DHCP is, it's a dynamic host configuration protocol. It helps you configure automatically computers that are connecting to your network. Let's say if I have five computers in my network, I can just stop at one of them and do the configuration manually. But if you have 250 on employees or 500 or 5,000, you need something that can do that for you automatically. So that's why we install a DSCP server. It's going to be handing out configuration to any computer that connects to our network and needs an IP. So let's jump right in and install the DSCP server. So to install it, we go under um, manage and we click on add role and uh, you have to select role based and click on next and you need to choose what server you want to install it on i'm going to install it on this server that we are on right now um, it still um, it still has its name that it came with but we're going to change it when it's going to become a domain controller and give some meaningful name to it and we click on next what service we want to install we want to install dhcp server this is these are all the features that are going to be installed along along with DSCP. So I click on add features and that's it. We click on next and we also have to install all these other things. I don't mind installing them all. I click on next and uh, click next again and we can restart the computer if we have to, that's fine. I click on okay and click on install. So that is going to start the installation of our DNS server. But meanwhile, when it's installing, Let's go in our firewall in the FortiGate and I'm going to disable DSCP for my lab network, network interfaces and click on the lab interface and go and disable DSCP server from here. So this is where I shut it down and click on OK. And that's all we have to do. So we don't have, you can't have, I mean, you can have two DHCP servers, but you're going to have some trouble because um, the information is not going to be um, synchronized between the two servers. So you can find yourself with two IP addresses inside your network, which is not cool. But yeah, it's just better to have a single one. But for very scalable networks or big networks, there's a way that you can do to have redundancy or multiple DHCP server. All right, so we just canceled the DSCP server on there. Let's see if the installation is complete. Yes, it's done. It's finished. We can click on close. And that's it. So we need to open the DSCP server tool. We click on tool and click on DSCP. It's right here. And we can come and click on our server which is this one here we will we we'll change it i know it's not comfortable to have this but that's fine we'll do it all right so for the ipv4 this is where we can configure and add a new scope for our dhcp how do we call it i call it lab.com because lab.com is my private lab network uh no let me just say this is our lab network I click on next start ip 10.0.0.50 i want it to start at 50 because the other ones can be no let me just put 100 
and ip 10.0.0.2 15 okay length configuration setting the propagator network clients so we need to also configure a subnet mask it's going to be a slash 24 click on next um i don't really have to add exclusions because i already excluded uh pretty much a hundred ips and uh so i can leave this uh blank and just click on next so what is the duration of the leases so when you are giving an ip to a device that device can keep that ip for a certain length of time so this is where you define what that length of time is in my case i wanted to have it for 24 hours after 24 hours the device is supposed to request another lease to keep that ip otherwise if it's if it's disconnected from the network after 24 hours that the, the, the IP is available for another user or another computer to use it in a network. This is very good if you have a huge network with a lot of clients coming in and out, like a big restaurant or something like that. You don't want those hosts or you don't want the laces to be longer than maybe, sometime it may just be an hour, you know, because you need to make all the IPs that are not being used available right away for the new clients that are coming to your network. So I just click on 24 hours or one day and click OK. Uh, it's asking us if we want to configure DNS options or yes or no. Yes, I want to configure DNS options. So what are our DNS? The first one is this computer itself. And the second one is going to be Google for backup. All right. And you can specify the parent domain you want the client computers to or the network to use for DNS name resolution. It's going to be lab.com. Win server, I don't really need this, I just click on next. Do you want to activate this cup now? Yes, and I click on next and finish. All right, so this scope is active. Right now, we don't have any client that is um, connected to it and we don't have any leads. We can try to go into one of our um, devices okay so what was i trying to ping let me see if i can ping google yes i can ping google uh what ip do i have now i can open another um, all right so right now i have because I have two networks. So I have 10.0.4 for my lab network. And this is assigned uh, manually on this computer. So let me go under the network interface card and change it to be automatic uh, parameters on the thing. So I click on here and do property. Uh, so for IPv4, I want it to be DHCP. I want also to be the DNS coming from, to have a DNS coming from DHCP. And I click on OK and click on OK. Uh, if I do an IP config now, yep, it's connected to the network. You can see here, I click on yes. All right, so let's see. Yeah, now it has an IP of 10.0.0.100 and uh, it also has this oh no this shouldn't be it shouldn't be the default gateway what did i do the default gateway is 10.0.0.1 oh maybe i did something wrong let me go here and and, and check the the properties scope options okay i think it's right here all right yeah this is what i shouldn't put this one here the default gateway should be changed um no i don't want this i don't want that I want it to be that one add that's it oh, okay so different options that we have uh, we can change them from here DNS and so on okay I click on OK so that changed and if I go back to the device and do IP config renew
all right so now we see that it has the correct um correct default gateway and if i go back to this i can see under address leases refresh we have this computer that we just gave the ip to this is its name and uh, we have which i think is the mac address and everything so that's it this is how you configure dhcp on the windows server 2016 and in the next video we're going to move on to something else uh like active directory and uh yeah it'll get more exciting there thank you so much uh what else can we see here i think we're good thank you and have a good one bye